Hey. So I'm plant sitting and uh, it's okay. I get paid 10 bucks per day that I come and water and I usually water really heavy and so I only come up half the days and they're like, what? How come you didn't have to water every day? Because like, I spend half an hour watering instead of five minutes, but whatever. Anyway, so then I was like, oh, I'm kind of hungry. So I was going to check their fridge. Cheese sticks, yogurt. I'm like, oh, have to go home. Uh, uh, I'm hangry. Pretty darn hangry. Almost snapped it. There's a... There's a guy in our circle of friends who, he's a little bit of a snake oil salesman. Um, he, salesmans, all sorts of things. Um, mats that have charged crystals and magnets and things like that in them. Wouldn't be so weird if he didn't pitch entire dinner parties because he's kind of not getting invited places so much anymore um but anyway this snake oil that he's got is these like five zillion chamber water filters and it does a fair bit these people have a uh, high iron like red water high iron in their uh in their systems and he he got it to the point where they can use their washing machine without dyeing all their clothes weird orangey pink colors i guess i don't know but so i had to communicate with him about what days i was gonna water and he was um so yeah you won't have to water tomorrow. And you won't be there until Friday. Cause what I gotta do. And I was just like, dude, if you were in front of me, I would probably go full hangry mode on you right now. Uh, it was terrible. It was terrible. But I listened to what he had to say and then I was like, I'm really hungry. Let's check this refrigerator. Maybe they will have a good snack. And it was all dairy. And one thing that was gluten-y, I guess, bread or something. I don't remember. But I was like, nope. My best bet is to just walk away. Because I was like, ooh, a cheese stick. That sounds really good. No, because I'm dairy-free. Whatever. Anyway, um been getting asked about the party. So what I ended up doing when I went to the party is I took that guacamole and um, added the salsa that I bought and three avocados diced up really small and stirred them all together and it's like a floaty thingy. Um, and it was good. But it was missing something. So I added some hot sauce to it. Everybody's like, oh, this is really good. It tastes like like hot sauce and salsa and avocado. And I was like, that's funny because that's exactly what it was. I really like it. And lucky for me, everybody was, we're in Oregon and marijuana is legal. So all of those people were stoned or drunk or stoned and drunk. So, there wasn't much left by the time it was time to come home. So, yay for winning! Um, total came out to, let's see, seven bucks for the guacamole, three avocados at a buck each, and the salsa was like three and a half bucks. So, six and seven makes 14 13 yeah 13's right um like 13 and a half bucks plus a bag of chips that was pretty good and 
I had, I brought four ciders with me, and then I had three beers, and I was a little bit hungover, but mostly, I think those beers tore my stomach up, like, I didn't feel good, like, every time I moved, it was like, um, like motion sickness, I had motion sickness in my stomach, and it felt like, have anybody ever played with like a gyroscope where like you spin the little top and you can spin it different directions and it kind of resists moving and that's what it felt like inside my stomach whenever I had to bend over or turn around or change a direction it was just like oh oh no good I finally broke down and got a bag of potato chips to put something big and solid in there and Felt a lot better after that. Um, managed to avoid too much more gluten. But yeah, it was not good. So, something I learned, first off, make a plan what you're going to do when you run out of your beverage. Um, and don't drink Coors, because although it was okay tasting... It's totally, totally not worth what I have. So, Sunday I felt like crap. Monday at work I felt like crap. And Tuesday I still didn't feel very awesome. Totally not worth it. For, like, each beer was a day of recovery. It was no good. So, I guess maybe that was a lesson I needed to learn. Uh <sighs> Okay. I'm going to drag my hiney home and go get a snack. What am I going to snack on? Head of romaine. Ooh, something that I was reminded of. I bought a book. Um, Leanne Vogel. She has a YouTube channel called Healthful Pursuit. The Healthful Pursuit. Healthful Pursuit. Um, she does... Fat fueled, so it's um, kind of keto, but if you did more of a holistic keto, so it's not about a like if it fits your macros, it's feed your body nutrients and minimal carbohydrates and fat. So you know, you feed your body kale and spinach, and if you tolerate them, tomatoes and eggs and bacon and avocados and olives and and you find all of the things that all have nutrients in them um peppers minimal on the fruit but you still need fruits and um and her big big way of going about it is eating based on the the nutrients and eating whole foods and minimal, um, artificial sweeteners. She's not a soda drinker, not a diet soda drinker. Um, sometimes she does sparkly water or whatever, but I don't know. I mean, just kind of what I learned from her, her channel. She does videos and she does, um, podcasts and she's got a couple of books out. So I bought her book and, um, I'm just starting to go through that. But I was listening to her talking to a guy who did um, a mesh of keto and Mediterranean diet. So it's the tomatoes and the olive oil and the avocados and the olives and uh, and basically any time when you had a heavy carbohydrate ingredient. So um, whole grains, whole grain pastas, um, rice, things like that. Whenever there was something like that in a dish, he would swap it out for something that would work. So it might have been, um, riced cauliflower instead of rice, and then you make a, a mix with that. But he's a lot of dairy because, um, Dairy on Mediterranean is big. Lots of cheese. But listening to him talking about it, I was like, 
man, that's right. I could be buying, add in some cans of sardines and they would be really easy to take to work. You, you know, you can uh, open a big tin of sardines and portion it out. It's like a lot of ways that I can be adding fat and proteins um, besides what I'm eating, plus get different nutrients. So, yeah, that was kind of a good thing. Um, tinned, tinned fish. Anyway, so, yeah. I'm really hungry. I'm going to go home now. I think I'll go home now. Find myself a snack that doesn't have any dairy or gluten in it. I have no idea what that song was. Sorry. I'm probably going to get this phone taken away or video taken away from me because copyright thingy majigger. I think it was some intro I listened to NPR. What? Anyway. Turning this car around. Alright, okay, for realsies. I'm like on a driveway, but I shall chat with y'all later. Have a good night.